Hi, my name is Jess Molyneux and I'm a reporter for the Liverpool Echo. We're here today at the Museum of Liverpool for a very exciting new exhibition dedicated to the life of the late Sir Ken Dodd. I'm here today with Karen O'Rourke, who's our curator for the exhibition. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the exhibition to begin with? Yep, so I'm one of the curators who works here at the Museum of Liverpool, there's a bunch of us, um, and this is my latest exhibition that I've been working on, and as you say, it's about the life and career, it's a celebration of the life and career of, of Sir Ken Dodd, yeah. and it's in our new exhibition space, so it's quite, it's the first one in here, so it's been quite a task yeah. today, but it's just been so much fun as well at the same time. Yeah, and how important do you think it is to have an exhibition like this to celebrate and Ken Dodd and obviously have his legacy live on in the city and beyond? We're the Museum of Liverpool. Our ethos is to talk about um, Liverpool and Liverpool City region. And obviously he was voted the greatest Merseysider. He is a son of the city, a beloved son of the city. Mm. Um, and so for us it was a, it was a bit of a no-brainer really. Yeah. Um, we tell so many stories across the museum and they change over time. And this one will change, it won't be here forever. Mm. Um, but it's just nice to be able to just do that in focus, mm. look at one individual. Um, and what's really great about it is that I believe that this is the first exhibition about a comedy individual of its size in a national museum. So that's really nice for us as well. Yeah, and I know we spoke a little bit off camera about this earlier, but the inspiration for kind of the pathway of coming through the exhibition is the Royal Court. So can you tell us a little bit about that and how you've done a nod to the Royal Court as well? We have an amazing team who, who put these exhibitions together. It's not me. I wander around, but there are so many other people who work on this. And we have an incredibly talented designer. And we thought about some of the themes that we'd looked at with Ken, and it came out really obvious at, at the beginning um, that there's this connection between live theatre and the connection with the audience, and that it was so important to him, and it was such a big part of what he did. Um, and so we started to think about theatres and how that would work. And the Royal Court were amazing because the Royal Court allowed us to just spend a few hours just roaming around. Yeah. So we got front stage photos, we got backstage photos. And then what our designer's done is he's taken that concept. So we're currently here at the beginning in the lobby yeah. of the theatre. Um, and then you can go through into the main performance area, which is all those gorgeous Royal Court colours of golds and reds and mm. really plush. But then as you look back through the exhibition, um, you'll see the backstage bits, which mm. are the non-performance bits of Ken's life. So, you know, the stories about his charity work and, and him being a Liverpool legend yeah. and, and creating the Diddy Men. And they've got that kind of backstage look from the Royal Court. Yeah. But, you know, kind of, it's really, really subtle. So there's, the, there's kind of the moulding of the Royal Court is actually exactly the same as is in the, is, is yeah. the theatre. Yeah. Um, so it's just nice when we can just add those very, very subtle touches. Yeah. And I know we're having a sneak preview at the minute um, and last minute bits are still getting done before yes. Saturday. But before we start the tour, what has been the best part about working on this for you or what have you enjoyed the most? It has just been a joy. Um, so often as a curator, you're given a uh, project that's already been developed in a little in a, in a bit. So it's kind of partially developed. Um, and so for me, I received a concept that we were doing an exhibition that was, that was Ken Dodd and comedy. Um, and then it's up to me then to decide what objects are going to work, what storylines are going to work, mm -hmm. you know, how, what the look and the feel needs to be, and working with the rest of the team on that. Yeah. Um, and I, I kind of knew about Ken I've lived here for 20-something years. Yeah. I knew about Ken Dodd, but I grew up in London, and I come, my experience of comedy was very different. Mm -hmm. um, and actually just the research of learning about the man, learning about his craft, his dedication to his craft. Yeah. Um, and he's just such a, he, he's so clever, um, but he's just such a nice guy. Yeah. And that's been a real joy just to spend so much. The, the research has been easy yeah. because it's been so, so pleasurable. Oh, brilliant. Um, but yeah, very excited to see it and I'm sure our readers are as well. So shall we go in? We'll go in. And um, so as I say, this is the lobby area. Um, we don't ever in our museum have a route round that we expect visitors to take. So you can take different routes, but we're going to go in to the theatre main stage. Yeah. Um, and there is, as you say, there is still work going on. Yeah. Um, but um, as you come in, the very, very first object you see is our iconic moggy coat, yeah. um, which was, lay, was made by Lady, Lady Dodd for Ken. Um, and this was all about him getting that immediate connection with the audience that so he would come rushing out 
onto the stage wearing his coat, yeah. which is also on the film screen. Um, and then he would introduce himself to the audience with a giant tickling stick and, and shout out by Jove how tickled I am. Yeah. And then from there he'd take the coat off and he'd have a, an amazing stage suit underneath. But the coat yeah. was, was that initial connection with the audience. Mm. Um, so we knew that that was really, really important. And we've got these huge objects, but then we've got some really lovely small stuff. So in this case, this is a really early Ken um, and the final program that he did. Oh, wow. But the little business cards, he's, he's quite a young man at that stage, but he's already identi identifying himself mm. as the comedian who is different. Mm. And, and that was from his dad. His dad had said to him, do whatever you want to do some, but be different yeah. and be original. Yeah. And that's, that was Ken's mantra throughout his career. Yeah. Um, and he found his way and he understood that a lot of his look was what would make audiences laugh at him. Mm. But he, and he accepted that and he understood that that was the way he was going to go with his career. Yeah, and it must have been quite difficult as well. Obviously, nine decades of a very fulfilled life. So many shows, so many performances, so much to Merseyside. How have you found kind of cramming in as much as possible or kind of picking out stuff that stands out that people will remember them for and people want to see? It must be really hard. It's been mentioned quite a few times that we could have filled this gallery three, four, five times over yeah. with the amount of content mm. that was available to us, both through Lady Dodd's own personal collection mm. and through material that we had and through material that was available like the film footage and the images. Yeah. Um, it was difficult to choose, but mm. then often in an exhibition like this, it tells its own story and mm. you let it go where it's gonna go. Yeah. And, and that is the best way. You can't, you can't force an exhibition to tell its story. You have to kind of unravel it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also, I could fill every single panel with my words, but nobody wants to read that. Everyone wants to read the quotes and they want to watch the pictures and they want to see the, the footage and they, and they want to see the fun. Yeah. So the, the funny has to be in here. If I hadn't have brought the fun, yeah. then I think I would have failed miserably. Yeah, I think from first glance that definitely comes out as yeah. well. Good, definitely. good. <laughs> Where do you want to go next? This is theatre. Um, I guess this area is really, really important. So in this area, we look at Ken the pioneer and, and he blazed the trail in so many different ways. So he, was, he had a record breaking run at the London Palladium. And so we've put the programs in. There were programs all around the galleries, programs, flyers. And I think everyone has a Doddy story. He's a bit like the Beatles and mm. um, everyone has a Doddy story. And I think that the programs, although they're quite small objects and they're they're not kind of the big story. I think that the programs are going to be the things that people really connect to, yeah. where they absolutely go, I remember that, I was there, or mm. I remember that one, I saw that one. Um, so the London Palladium, we've got the programs on the wall, so that's him blazing a trail and, and having that 42 week run mm. that has never been beaten since. Um, Ken the Theatre Saviour, uh, so obviously the Royal Court was, was the big story for us here, but also, it wasn't his only story. He worked with a few different theatres around the country, so we've picked out three. So Blackpool and Manchester as well. Yeah. Um, Ken, the number one singing artist. A lot of people don't know that he had a trained operatic voice um, and that he had a number one single with Tears in, in 1965. 65 was a huge, 